We're getting some misses and her lash check just to my lashes. Talk to you. Yes. But yeah, my just always a fear hala. Every year it's the same thing. Hey guys welcome and welcome back to the channel for those of you who are new here i am sentina and on this channel i do lifestyle business tips fashion and also faith so if you love contents like that consider subscribing to the channel and smash that subscribe button leave a like on the video and ensure that you comment as well this is just a little introduction you guys are going to be seeing the real deal so enough of me rambling let's dive right into the video bye guys i was literally getting ready for work and this happened like my nail just broke like literally just broke like today is april 21st my birthday is on the 27th right so these are the nails like it's not bad like it can actually last for the birthday i'm gonna know why this nail just i'm gonna know what do you what do you decide for break like it literally just flip don't know if you guys are seeing it. I'm not even going to show you too much. But I am going to go on the road. Actually, I'm going to go up a shop. And try get. I'm going to know if them sell crazy glue here. I'm going to get a crazy glue. Because there's no way I'm going to go to a nail tech up here. First of all, a bush me day. So to go to a nail tech. Get an Uber. Go to nail tech. And have to book another Uber to come back. Just for this. Just not make no sense like in my head like i love getting my nails done but being here i don't know if i am going to upkeep that because it not going to logical sense to be going to pay uber back and forth and to pay for your nails that just not going to make no sense so i am going to just go the natural way is either press on or i'm going to just polish my actual nail like every time i try to grow my natural nail it doesn't it after it reaches a point it just break off so that not going to work either. I have like two hours left to get ready for work. So I'm going to grab the glue quick and fast. Glue my nail. I'm currently working on getting another video out. So I was in the midst of doing that video when it happened. So come on now. Good boy. <sighs> my faith is being tested too much. So first at the lash. So I thought the lash could last. The lash in you know, the top drop out. This is all that's left. So I'm gonna have to DIY everything. Everything. But the hair and then the lash should be angled. Yeah. So we'll come down. Alright, so I'm gonna go for it right now. Hey guys, good morning. So it's maintenance day and I don't know how I feel. I'm about to do my lashes. Like my face looks so naked right now. I removed the lashes last night, and I'm about to apply the DIY cluster. So I have been watching a lot of videos to prepare myself. In the meantime, I won't get to go to any from my lash deck here because I'm not about to pay two hundred and fifty dollars or two hundred and eighty dollars to do my lashes. No. So I bought this lash kit from I was in Jamaica. I wanted to try it while I was there, but everything is such a convenience in Jamaica. I was not thinking of, you know, doing it myself. But no, I don't have an option. So I'm about to do that just now. So I hope I'm just hope like right now I am so nervous. My hands are literally sweating. But I'm gonna start. I'm going to start this now and then I'm going to remove my hair. I have an unboxing to do as well. I'm going to be showing you all that right after I'm done with my lashes. So I'm going to do them in sequence. So I'm super excited. I hope you guys are. So wish me luck. So it's about that time. This is the lash extensions that I'm going to be putting on. So I had removed my lashes yesterday. It's Pouting's I don't know, I think they did it upside it down. I don't know if I should be holding it like this. Or so. On the inside. It came with the bond. 
and the seal and these tweezers so i'm going to head right into it i'm gonna try to apply it all right so i'm gonna have to do this eye first <laughs> i know you guys are not seeing me that clear i'm gonna do this eye first and then this one Okay, guys. I don't know how I feel about it. It's a bit. I don't like how they make the lashes. But this is the first one. I'm gonna work on this one now. Okay guys, so these are the lashes. Just the beginning. They don't get no better. As long as I really like them so they turned out really well I was not expecting for it to go this easy guys y'all know that I'm gonna put y'all on game I was showing y'all earlier they are very easy to apply like it's way easier than I thought and it's like magnet the moment I put it on my natural lashes and it just automatically grabs it all you need is the type of lash that you want whether you want a cat eye look hybrid natural look so I actually applied 16 so it started from 16 the one that i got i wanted to try the 18 but the 16 is totally fine so 16 at the end and in the middle i applied 12 and to the four right here i don't know what to call it that was 10 so 16 12 and 10 and then i i literally added it so it could be full i did it like twice around the eyes and then i filled in the gap where necessary and i put a few 12 and 15 in between and this is how it turned out. Oh, we're to say it's not a lash check just to my lashes. Talk truth. Talk truth. So rate me from 1 to 10. Let me know how I did. So I'm going to be removing my hair. And then I'm going to wash it so that I can start my sewing. So I want to do a really nice updo. So I'm about to start that just now. So I got some bundles that I'm about to review for a hair company. I'm going to add the name somewhere on the screen so if you guys are interested you can actually purchase so it's three bundles the hair is super soft i can't wait to install if you like body wave here then this is definitely for you and it's also jet black so the hair has no scent i'm not smelling any form of chemicals at this one I am super excited to have these installed so stay tuned I'm gonna remove this and have my hair washed and cornrow and then I'll start the sewing ASAP stay tuned like everything is coming on pretty well it's just the lash and the hair that I have to do Hey guys, so I literally just blow dried my hair and I'm so sleepy. I wanted to start my hair, do my hair tonight, so tomorrow I won't have to focus on anything. Just sleeping a little, wake up, probably do brunch. I've been trying to find somewhere, but a bush me day. So everywhere is like out of work nowhere close in the proximity for me to actually go and chill in the morning it's after 10 30 so i am not going to stay up tonight to do not hair so i'm gonna just corner it and then tomorrow i'll do the sewing Like mine, break off for you. 
Thank you. Every day. It is. Oh, the pressure that put me back, big, big time. A lovely birthday as much as I can, but happy birthday, Santina. Thanks, honey. I'm so privileged to, to have met you, and, uh, you know, I hope we continue to be friends until the wheels fall off. I'm your sweetheart, and I hope you never, ever, ever change. So happy birthday again, and uh, I will see you later. Thank you. I appreciate. There's no pressure once it's you. Girl, I'm going to say have a good time, because I know it. And there's some hotels right now. It's <laughs> not doing me. I just, I'll do what, what I can to make sure that you have a good time. Thanks, honey. Hey y'all, so it's April 27th and it's my birthday. Yay. I have been up since 1.30 a.m. I was on the phone with Matthew and I knocked right out because I was super tired and I felt overwhelmed. I'm not gonna lie. I felt really overwhelmed last night considering I had to do my own hair lash and all that good stuff. So the hair is done. The style I want to accomplish might not be doable so I don't know. I'm I I'm just going with the flow basically. Whatever comes comes. I'm gonna just do what I have to and what I can. Whatever I can control, then I'll just leave that as is. So, I did a versatile swing. So, as you can see, I can actually catch my hair because I had a little bit of leave out. I wanted to do the maintenance, but I was getting so frustrated because I've been doing it since around 2 a.m. and it's now 9 o'clock so I got done around 8.30 8.35 it takes a lot of time and I actually miss having the opportunity to go to the salon to get my hair done the lashes, the nails, everything and just feel good like people define luxury on their own terms it can be expensive gifts um, splurging on different services or whatever but for me I'm a birthday I just love the idea of getting glammed up for your special day like out of 365 days like literally get one day for yourself that one day obviously you're going to want to feel special and for me to feel special loved and you know get into the spirit and the whole birthday vibe the hair the nails the lash me just i love doing all of that that's like a vibe for me for birthdays and the fact that i had to do it it was just frustrating but i did what i could i'm not gonna complain i am grateful to god i don't want to start the day off complaining so i was up from 1 a.m to know so I literally saw when the sun was coming out all of that jazz and I am just grateful to God for another year I literally didn't have to be alive today so I'm super super grateful to God and the fact that I am not where my family friends or my partner is I am still happy considering the fact that <clears throat> I am living in answered prayers so something has to give sacrifices has to be made and I don't mind doing that. I know that whatever I'm doing now, it's just for the best. So, while I want to celebrate in fine style and all of that, this year has been very special and different. It started off really rough. Like, I have had a lot of rough patches. But I am still able to, you know, persevere regardless. Like this year, all my negatives, I'm going to turn them into a positive. Initially, my cousins and Matthew were planning a trip to DR. And that was supposed to be for Easter. 
so we were gonna celebrate that before I left Jamaica and stuff but I don't know for some reason it's either we were just not supposed to go but that trip did not make it out of the chat everybody was ready but there were other constraints and if you guys follow me on my social platforms you are probably aware I told myself I wouldn't talk about this situation but I am now reflecting on the fact that I could have already celebrated but God knows what's best I always tell myself once I'm doing stuff and there are a lot of challenges it's just not for me or it's just not the time for it so we attempted to do it prior to that and it didn't work so we resorted to going with somebody else and we got scammed that was a whole hassle that was that was draining and dreadful but it ended up working out because I got back my refund and stuff and we still ended up not going like I internalized a lot and I didn't want it to mention this but I had requested to come up a little bit late so I could at least travel before I came here and I was not given the time to do that so that no work again so I just told myself probably it's just not the time for it and I just had to let it go so entirely I am happy I am celebrating but sad at the same time like I really want to travel this year and when I say travel I'm not referring to traveling to the USA like traveling vacation and just visiting different countries you know those little stuff that was the aim and that is still the aim it might be delayed but it's not forgotten at all so I am literally here I'm about to shower and then I am going to sleep <laughs> I don't want to and I'm not going to come on here and cry like every birthday that I celebrate I break down I have to cry or something just always happen if it's not my makeup artist cancelling or hair appointment issues or whatever it's just always something but something just always happen you know but as I say I'm very very grateful I always say um I always tell myself like birthdays will literally get the best of you because it's just one day that you give for yourself and you want everything to work out in your favor at least for that one day and I don't know if I'm the only person I don't know if anybody else can relate but every birthday that I have as much as it might go well like you guys might be seeing like the end product of photos and the videos but I always have a rush patch and this is not me complaining i am just trying to speak my mind because i have been internalizing a lot so i just want to speak my mind and get this off of my chest so, yeah <laughs> why but yeah but it was always a fear hala why are you mother's a fear crying and like the closer it gets to the birthday you just get depressed every year it's the same thing but I don't know it's bittersweet like I am happy I am happy I am happy I am grateful I feel like I am at a point in my life right now where I I'm just grateful for everything I am grateful for everybody that's a part of my life that bring out the best in me persons that are genuine persons that love me for who i am and understand me like i appreciate you guys so 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 much and i always say like birthdays will literally show you how people feel about you so on my special day 
you will have persons that will go above and beyond for you they'll treat your birthday like it's theirs and then you'll have other persons that will just not care some people might not even remember your birthday <laughs> and i am big on birthdays like i feel like that's a day that you should be celebrated that's like your international day and of course regardless of how small it is i am gonna celebrate in my own way like i i said i'm going to sleep which i will because i'm tired but i was also considering to do a little brunch thingy but then again where i'm at <coughs> media bush <laughs> That is the next thing. I am in foreign, but I'm mean, gonna feel like media are foreign. Because certain things I'd want to do, like to go shopping, to dine, all of that good stuff. Like, I was trying to make a reservation for a restaurant that's close by. Today's Saturday, and them luck. So, not even as much as that. But I told myself I would still check it out. I'm gonna shower and lay down and see if I can find somewhere like Raquel and I are gonna go later on. But in the meantime, I wanted to do something different, like a little brunch. I don't want to have an outfit for it, but I would find something at least. Because I wasn't actually planning for the brunch brunch. And because it's so cold here again, that's another thing. Anyways. I'm going to shower just now and start my day. I'm gonna do my little devotion, show God my gratitude and all because I haven't done that. As me say, me and I'm here from after one, I go to two o'clock. So I'm gonna start my devotion right now and shower and let's start chat with you guys soon.